Okay, so CapCut is an increasingly popular video editing app. It's available for both Android and iOS users, as well as for both Mac and Windows PC desktop. And uh, it's known for its intuitive interface and like really powerful features right out of the can. So it's really, really, really cool that this is available. Oh, also, did I mention that it's free? It's free. So. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys how to download it and install it on your desktop so that you can use this powerful video editing software for free starting like right now. Hey guys, I'm Mike Lazarecki. Let's get you guys rolling with CapCut. I'm going to jump into my computer and we will get started. Okay, so from the standpoint of the installation, I'm on Mac, um, but the process should be very similar for both Mac and PC. Now, I'm going to do this from a new window, uh, like a private window. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is in my address bar, I'm going to search for CapCut for desktop. We'll search that and you can see where it comes up down here in the search and it says CapCut desktop. That's the link you wanna click on nice and quick. You go here and it automatically detects what operating system you're on. Uh, let's see, we'll accept the cookies. And then there's this download for Mac. If you're on Windows, it'll auto detect it and you'll be able to download it for Windows and you'll run through the installation wizard like you would for any other application. However, it will require you to sign in with a login. So that's one thing you can do this as like an online video editor, which is nice as well. So if I download this for Mac, We'll go from there. We're downloading, 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 downloading. While we're waiting for that to download, I'm gonna show you guys how to get your account started through CapCut. So we'll open up a new window, go to capcut.com, and we'll go in here and it says sign up for free. I'm gonna sign up. I recommend just using the sign up with Google. So I'll hit accept all. I'll go up here and hit sign up with Google. Now, I've already got an account. Now, what will likely happen for you is it'll ask you to sign up with your email and then it'll send you a verification code to your email and the email will look something like this. You'll we'll punch in that verification code and then you'll get signed in and you'll see this space here, okay? So basically what this does is this allows you to do kind of online video editings. That's not the way that I personally like to edit, but it is necessary to have one of these accounts in order to use the mobile app. There's also a really good iPad app, so you can really edit anywhere with any of your devices. And this software has some really sweet features. Okay, so the desktop version has finished downloading, so I'm going to open up my downloads folder, click on this guy and install it. Install. Seems like it's installed now. I'm going to open it up. And here we go, CapCut. Now we can open this guy up and get rolling with CapCut. Pretty easy, right? So once you open up the application, it'll ask you to sign in. So basically, you can keep all of your projects kind of synced across the cloud between the app and the other apps. So there we go. Now we are signed in on CapCut and we can start a new project. So in the most basic sense, this is CapCut. This is your editing software and it's free and it's powerful and it can do all kinds of cool stuff. So you have your media panel here. Here's your preview panel. So when you import video, you'll see it here. This is gonna be your timeline down this way, different details and uh, different settings that you can change per the different selected clips are gonna be up in the upper right there. Then you have audio, text, stickers, all kinds of different effects that you can use, transitions, filters. And I'll tell you what, one of the coolest things, in fact, the way that I ran across CapCut in the first place was because I was looking for an app that would auto-generate captions for shorts. And this one will do it based on your audio, which is pretty sweet. Anyway, guys, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something important out of it. And I will do more videos basically running you through how to edit in CapCut, but until then, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, check this video out for more helpful tips, and I will see you in the next video.